All right, this is bus video number two. Uh, this is the outside of the bus, and this is my accordion door that I would really like to keep, so I'm going to be figuring out a way to lock it. Well, I already figured out a way to lock it. I'm just gonna show you how. Um, nothing's been done to it yet, but here is how it opens. It folds open like this. Uh, it runs on a pneumatic thing. I'll show you. Push it closed, and up here we have the emergency release. So now it is engaged. Uh, should be able to open it now. And then over here on the dash, this is my door gauge. Lift it up. My door opens. Push it, and it closes. Excuse me. All right, up here is the emergency release. So you hit the emergency release and then you should be able to open the door. The only problem is, once I'm outside, there's no way to lock it. So I'll pull it closed. And just to get in, all I have to do is push it open. So, not really good about keeping, for keeping tools and stuff inside. So I came up with this idea. I've seen other people use uh, different kinds of locks that they put up here uh, just so that they have a key that's, you know, chest high. That's nice and all, but I think that if you had a crowbar or something, you could easily just kind of like pop it open. So I opted for this little thing. I basically bought a $10 lock and it's got this. I just took a 2x4, I narrowed it down just a little bit, so you can see I just kind of roughed, roughed it on the side, uh, made it a little bit narrower, drilled a hole, and another hole, so this is going to be basically be bolted at the bottom of the bus, or at the bottom of the bus door right here, it'll hover a little bit, and the, uh, this is the deadbolt, it's going to be attached right underneath it that. And my key you know, will be right here. It'll be sideways. It'll be down at the bottom of the, the bus door. Um, the bus door is kind of wide, so I'm going to have to cut a pretty big hole down at the bottom, and uh, it won't necessarily work, but we'll find out soon enough. Okay, so now I've created a uh, spot where I'm going to be drilling my hole. I basically took this thing that's going to be on the inside, put it right here, see how close it is to the, the floor there, and then I took this assembly, stuck it in with the uh, deadbolt out to see how far down it's going to lock, kind of put it in place. Seems like that should do a pretty good job. Maybe a little bit lower. Think about there. And then I will drill a hole through the door and cross my fingers and hope for the best. We'll see. All right, so I finished uh, finished putting the lock into place. You can see it right there. I had to kind of angle grind around it to kind of get it to stick in a little bit further. The bar that goes across from the, the lock from the, from the tumbler to the little handle on the inside of the deadbolt uh, is pretty short, so I had to sort of narrow, try to get as much space as possible, or shave off as much space as possible in the thickness of the door by angle grinding, and then on the little thing that I, I built to house the whole locking mechanism, I had to actually sand that down a little bit, as you'll see on the inside. But you can see it's locked. Uh, I don't know if you can kind of see underneath, not really, but uh, I drilled a hole in on the floor that I'll show you. So, uh, lock is in, take the key, oh, that's locked, this is unlock, now I can push it in, and you can see this is what it sat in right there. Over from the other side. Alright, so you can see the other side. 
It's not the most elegant thing in the world. Probably have to create another housing for it at some point. Um, you can see down at the bottom there, that's the little hole and the mechanism. Let's see if we can get this to focus. There we go. I had to put some shims on the side just to kind of keep it from shaking. I don't. I didn't really need it, but otherwise the thing was kind of floating out there. Uh, if I were to do this again, I would probably keep the thickness down here at the bottom where this thing drills in and then kind of create a sunken area for this this part, this little outside housing. Uh, you just probably would look a little bit neater, you wouldn't get crap kind of stuck in this little hole here. But for now, it's functional and since I'm only in the very beginning stages of this whole thing, I can now keep my power tools in my bus without having to worry about them. And so, locked. Wanted to give a quick update on the lock. You can see this is the end. I put a piece of, I put a piece of uh, metal down here in the bottom. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Yep, there you go. Uh, just to kind of keep access to the lock as minimal as possible. And then on the inside, you can see I added some gaskets around it and now it it's nice and smooth. Locks all the way when it's locked can't go anywhere. I think it's an awesome system. I just need to kind of clean it up a bit. Uh, and that's where I am.